Making the play. And this is why guys love playing with Donovan Mitchell. Can he score it? Yes. But he loves to send his teammates up. Well, it can't get worse than this. 0 for 4 to start. Pass to Bogdanovich. Tries again. They shoot again. Three-pointer O'Neal. The kick out to Conley. And here's Mitchell. Back to Conley. Double team on Mitchell. Conley with the ball. Guarded now by Morris. Here's Porter. And that's good. His first bucket of the game. Just taking it right to the rim. And no one was there to greet him. I think defensively, that is not the way you want to start. Giving up high percentage looks, that doesn't typically end well. The three, O'Neal. Right, so Pure from three-point range. There's a reason Mike Conley's teammates love playing with him. If you're open, I promise Jazz. he'll find you. Mike and Mike Conley. Conley picks up the foul. That's his first personal foul. That's his first foul. First team foul. A minute 50 left to the first quarter of the game. The kick out to Barton. Here's Jokic. It's been a struggle Nuggets for them foul. to get anything to fall. Good D by Gobert. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. Utah leading. Outside Conley. A minute and a half left to play in the first quarter. Left side Bogdanovich. O'Neal on the wing. Oh, Morris with a steal. Really poor pass there, guys. And the D did a great job capitalizing off the mistake. Back to Porter. Let's it go from 11. Jump shot is good. Porter's gotten his second bucket of the game. And I don't think we've really seen many seven-footers who can pass like Jokic. So calm and easy with the ball and almost always makes the right decision. Back to Conley. Shot clock at six. Ooh, Morris with a steal. Lays it up and banks it in. 44 seconds left to the opening quarter. Pass to Mitchell. To the paint. Here's Gobert. And Gobert with the stuff. Donovan Mitchell. If he's that close to the cup, Rudy Gobert knows how to finish. Porter's shot is off. And he probably thought he was going to bury that one. And here's Mitchell. Over Morris. Offensive board. The kick out to Conley. Now five seconds separating the shot clock and the game clock. And it's out of bounds to the Jazz as Utah retains possession. Fifteen seconds left to play in the first quarter. Six on the shot clock. Pass to Conley. Rebound by the Nuggets. From deep three-point range. And that does it for the first quarter. It's the Jazz leading by five. Quarter number two coming up right after this break. Hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. Halfway through the first half in this one. And take a look at the Jazz performance here, guys. What do you think? Well, it's simple. When you can dominate the boards at both ends, you can control the second chance touches. And that's how they controlled the first quarter. I thought they were the much more physical team. The Nuggets trail. Pass to Green. Well, you were Rookie of the Year back in 1995, Grant. For young guys coming into the league, how difficult are expectations right out of the gate? Well, rookies these days are way younger than when I played. I mean, I was 22 my first year uh, in the league after four years in college. So, you know, I think we have to give these young players time to develop and learn how to become great in the NBA. Impressive closeout on a skilled shooter. That is how you defend shots from downtown. Clarkson outside. 
Pass to Azubuki. Now here's Ingles. Puts up a three. Joe Count Ingles. it. One for one to start the game. Well, just another weapon in the arsenal of Joe Ingles, right? The catch-and-shoot game on point. That's a three-second And so it's going to be a three-second violation there. All the defense. All right, well, a look at how the points have been generated so far. A scoring breakdown for the Jazz. Guys, they are dialed in from long range already. They didn't waste any time getting into a groove out there. And the technical free throw is good. So both teams making some changes here. Their strong work ethic has been evident on the glass. Really getting after it and being physical. Off target. That would have pushed the lead to double digits. Gordon with it. Now Pascal defending. Outside Porter. The three. Trades the triple. Porter's got seven points in the game. Well, the versatility he possesses makes him a very tough cover, guys. He hails from a small town in Serbia. Jokic played basketball, but also a number of other sports that he credits for his current skill set. Yeah, he says water polo helped with the one-hand passes, and volleyball helped with the tip-ins. And the harness racing, well, who knows, but he was obsessed with it. Boy, don't you love to see Aaron Gordon make these kinds of decisions. This guy is fully capable of recognizing open teammates. Pass to Clarkson. And here's Butler. Back to Clarkson. Over Jokic. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. here in the second quarter of action just a hair under two and a half minutes played a chance here to catch up with Ali from the sideline hey Brian well we know this about Jamal Murray he is not shy of letting that thing go he said quote anyone that knows me knows this I'm going to take the last shot I've always believed that envisioned that dreamed that and practiced that and I'm going to make it guys there's no denying that confidence well, it serves him well, right, Ali? Thanks for that. Unfortunately for them, they're reeling at this point. So true. Very little going their way right now at either end of the floor. For three, O'Neal. And he lobs it up top. Stolen by Conley. And stolen by Jokic. On the break. And then Porter with the dunk. Good fast-paced play there. It's much easier to find a shot when you beat the defense back. Timeout called. The Jazz. They're looking to do something to stop this run. They have to get back on track. Really needs to settle his guys down right now and get them refocused. The Jazz making a switch here. Utah trailing here. Outside Conley. We've got a minute 48 left to play in the second quarter. Here's the three. They grab their own miss. Not going to go that time. The Nuggets on offense. They've got a 10-0 run going. Down low. Here's Jokic. Using his post moves to get the two points. And it's a four-point nugget lead. They've been having major problems offensively. Definitely in a bit of a dry spell. Pass to O'Neal. From deep. Knocks down the long J. O'Neal's got nine. I'll tell you, he'll take that all day, every day. I'm sure he was shocked to find himself that wide open. And an excellent job distributing the ball tonight. You can really see his feel for the game. And that's been his role pretty much from the opening tip. Get the ball to guys where they can score it. To the wing, right side. From deep, Conley. Can't get it. 0 for 3 in this one. Here's Barton. 
Utah. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. Right so two here. free throws for him coming up. That's his first personal foul. Second team foul. At the line for Denver. Will Barton. Take and the first shot. one at the line is good. Yeah, they, they're really cashing in more at the line here in the second quarter. And that's good as he hits both shots. Here's Clarkson. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. Pass to Whiteside. It's tipped. Clarkson, left side. Bogdanovich with it. Over Jokic. And it's off the back of the rim. No good. I think this is a spot he has got to become more consistent from. If you want to command the defender's respect. <laughs> this run has been fueled by their Matador defense. And here's Clarkson. Pass to O'Neal. Now Conley. Back to Clarkson. No good on the buzzer beater. And that'll do it for the first half of play. Nuggets ahead. They lead by seven. And we'll be right back after halftime to get the third quarter underway. And if you just join it in, one half is in the books. One half to go. Denver in the lead. Pass to Jokic. Gordon with it. Comes up empty down low. Boy, I give Rudy Gobert a lot of credit for how he responded after the early days of COVID. This guy was made a scapegoat, and he was the first player to test positive. This guy has come back stronger from adversity. You have to love that. Here's Morris. The kick out to Barton. And Mike Utah. Conley picks up the foul. Mike Conley. That'll be a second foul of the game. That's his second personal foul. First team foul. And then corner with the dunk. <laughs> Attacking the rim with power. Tremendous finish. And Gobert wore it for that unfortunate joke with reporters. But lest we forget, he apologized and donated over half a million dollars to COVID relief. Well, incredible to take what was a tough moment in his career, have the maturity to talk to his teammates, try to heal any rip there, and it shows you what Rudy Gobert is all about. Fires for three. Unable to get that one. And it's Utah the other way. All right, time now to pick it up. You're one for four, and you Donovan certainly Mitchell. don't want to give your opponent momentum. The defense right couldn't so collapse near. quickly enough. Knocked loose. Outside for Porter. Here's Gordon. Oh! Oh! Well, easy to see why Aaron Gordon has been in multiple dunk contests. The arsenal, the creativity, limitless. And we're just about two minutes into the final half of play now. Three-pointer, O'Neal. Offensive rebound. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. You know, I think Rudy Gobert at one time was considered a throwback big, but the fact is he's adjusted his game, and he's now able to play in the modern NBA. A defensive force everywhere on the floor. Barton outside. Pass to Jokic. And they double up Jokic. And the ball is tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. And here are the Nuggets now. The three from Mitchell. Utah, the rebound. Wow, just getting all the luck right now, it seems. Good bounce. The Jazz with another miss. Barton with it. Ingles covering. And they pick up two. And the Nuggets lead by seven. 
They have no answer defensively inside. Now Mitchell. Pass to Ingles. And another miss by Utah. And just terrible defense. I don't know how he missed that shot. Two minutes. Jokic in the post. He's off on the layup. Well, it hasn't been the most efficient game for this guy, but their team is fortunate to still be out in front. Second team foul. And Utah has possession. Their defense is only allowed six points in the second half. Pass to Ingles. The three ball. Joe buries it from three. Ingles got six. So you've got to chase Joe Ingles off that three-point line because he is lethal. And it's Gobert with a rebound. Utah trailing here. Here's Mitchell. It doesn't go for him. Green with the defensive effort. Boy, an all-star from his third season, and Donovan Mitchell continues to thirst for improvement. Scoring, rebounding, playmaking, everything climbing year after year. The three from Mitchell. Yes, great play by Connolly to set it up. And it's now just a one-point Denver lead. Well, this is why you get the ball into Donovan Mitchell's hands as often as possible. Three-level score, ready on the catch, beautiful. Pass to Rivers. Just five to shoot. On the wing, Rivers. Banked it in off the glass. And the Nuggets lead by three. Time and time again, they're creating good looks from close range. Mitchell with the ball. He's got five. Now here's Conley. This for the tie. Gobert. Rudy Gobert. Controls the rebound and the putback. They've been dominating the boards tonight, yet it's still a close game. And he hits it and gets hacked. A three-point chance here if he can convert. Rudy Gobert. They're winning the battle down low by imposing their will. Second team foul. And Utah calls time here. Yeah, I think Coach calls his time out right now because he's not happy with the distribution of shots. Difficult shots, contested shots. You've got to get a better offensive rhythm. Now here's Clarkson. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. It's stolen by Green. It's good if it goes. Oh, it would have counted had it fallen, but it is offline. And we've reached the end of the third. Well, this has been a great contest so far. I imagine the fourth quarter could have more action in store for us. On offense, here's Utah. Clarkson outside. Pass to O'Neal. Back to Clarkson. Oh, deflected. O'Neal on the wing. Clock at six. From downtown. And Clarkson with the three. Clarkson's got himself on the board with a three there. Lackluster defense, showing no desire to chase shooters off that line. Here's Butler. Go, 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 
Back to O'Neal. To take the lead. Oh, and again, it's the Jazz from deep. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The hustle stats for the Jazz. Their activity at the defensive end has been impressive. Attacking and coming away with steals. And force feeding the ball inside. I mean, no reason to go away from what's working. Here's Clarkson. Outside Butler. From the arc. Hits a three-pointer. Butler's got himself going here. His first point of the game on the deep ball. Man, they're having a hard time defending the triple. That's three in a row. Zero rim protection. Unforgivable in a tight ball game like this. You know, we talk about execution offensively coming down the stretch. To me, it's as important defensively, and they didn't have it. That shot is good by O'Neal. Wow. Their opponent is doing a tremendous job spacing the floor. And it goes out of bounds. Jazz that ball. one off green. We're about two minutes into the fourth here. Outside Butler. Pass to Whiteside. O'Neal on the wing. 20 feet out. Tipped. Out of bounds. It'll go to the Nuggets. That almost looked like bad communication. You hate to see that kind of mistake. Here's Morris. To the inside. Here's Jokic. Count it. And it's Morris with the assist. Inside the paint, Jokic has that physicality that can make the defense a non-issue. He can just muscle his way for a shot. Pass to Butler. Here's O'Neal. Beyond the arc. Oh, and again, it's the Jazz from deep. And for so many teams in the NBA, establishing the three-point shot is goal number one on offense. He's definitely doing his part tonight. No doubt it's a growing trend, Greg, and he is highly accurate tonight. Transition basketball, the most reliable way to generate easy looks. The very definition of quality transition offense. If it can end at the cup, it's exactly where you want it. Donovan Mitchell. Mike Conley. And we're about three minutes into the fourth now. Pass to O'Neal. Fires from deep. Nails it from beyond the arc. And now it's a 10-point Jazz leads. They're really employing a deep-range initiative here in the fourth, and it's working. It feels like they have worked their perimeter game to perfection. Swinging the ball, cashing in from the outside. What a performance. It's stolen by Bogdanovich. And it's out of bounds. Jazz Still ball. Utah's ball. One forty-four left to play in the fourth quarter. Outside Mitchell. The three, O'Neal. Eight makes out of 15 shots. He's got it going. Here in the second half, they're really focused on stretching the floor. And guys, boy, when you're hitting, it sure does work. It obviously opens up major options at the offensive end. With the reverse slam. That was sweet. Ah, the finesse on full display. Right side, Mitchell. Six on the shot clock. Pass to O'Neal. The Jazz need to get one up in a hurry. Let's it go from deep. Porter pulls it in. And there's the foul. It's on Michael Porter. That's his first foul of the game. That's his first personal foul. And just a great job of getting there first and absorbing the contact. Both sides are simply waiting for the clock to make it official. This is going to end up in the books as a nice win for the Jazz. And at first glance, it appeared to be an easy win for them. However, they had to weather some storms along the way, Grant. Yeah, in terms of competitiveness, it was a lot closer than the final score indicates. 
Man, they've been careless with the ball tonight. Yeah, it's a lack of focus and a lack of discipline. They're better than this. Always helps to get these kinds of looks, right? Super easy to convert from that distance. And Morris over to help. There's 25 seconds left in the fourth. And go there with the stuff. Mike Conley. And he's now got the double-double. And they knew it wasn't going to be easy to win on the road, but they've controlled the pace on this one. And sometimes when everyone's rooting against you, it seems to bring the unit closer together. It certainly did tonight. Gordon on the wing. The baseline, Jay. So we see the Jazz get the win here. It ends up being a fairly easy road win. Those are so hard to come by. It's never easy to take a game in someone else's building. And that'll do it, folks. For Allie LaForce, Doris Burke, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson alongside our 2K Sports crew thanking you for watching. Reverse the world, X casual. Hey, I don't think they ready for the spasm. Wait, where you think you going? You can't miss this. Turn it up to max and sit back and watch that bass hit. Ooh. Minnesota Timberwolves taking on the Utah Jazz. Glad to have you with us for more NBA action. Along with Steve Smith and Greg Anthony, this is Kevin Harlan. And our friend on the sideline, Hall of Famer David Aldridge, we'll be hearing from shortly. And so off the tip, it's Utah. Cast O'Neal. For three, Mitchell connects from three-point range. Awesome backcourt battle tonight, Steve. Let me ask, are we in a guard-centric league right now? I think we are, Kevin. I mean, obviously, it was more balanced back in the day, guards and bigs. But with the three-point shot, it has really made this a guard league. And how about the quick eyes there from Towns? Finds a hole in the defense and exploits it there with a nice the find. Foul. And, for the and the foul called on Edwards. That's his first. first That's foul. his first foul. First team foul. Outside Conley. Shoots the three. And again, it's the Jazz from deep. Three. And this is something Conley's worked on since entering the league. His ability to stretch the floor. 
Donovan Mitchell. And the foul called on Donovan Mitchell. First, first foul. That is his first foul first of the game. Team foul. And just about a minute into the first quarter. Uncontested look. Can't fault the shot selection. He's money from there. And Russell, a player known for his offense, but Greg, he's put in work to improve his play on yeah, defense as well. Yeah, you know, Russell is known for his That's lack his of defense there ball. for a while. Second he's been trying to improve ball. that part of his game. It's a long Two road, but I tell you what, he is definitely Anthony taking Edwards. steps. Two shots. This is his first free throw of the game. And a look back at his numbers from the free throw line last year. 78%, so not too bad. And Anthony Edwards, the top pick of 2020. Not the most polished player early on, but his ceiling is through the roof. There's O'Neal with the three. And Utah, another three. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. Timberwolves passing it around. Here's a Kogi. A rebound by the Jams. So many top picks come in ready to play, Greg. Edwards, a part of a class that needed more time. Then. Yeah, the talent is clearly there. And don't forget the pandemic cutting the college careers of many of the 2020 draftees short. Edwards, though, has all the tools to be an incredible wing player. Two on the clock. Here's Clarkson. Can't cash in from the high post. To the inside. And the dunk oh, by Town. Using outstanding floor awareness there. Yeah, Russell's ability Russell. to pick apart the defense and find the open man. Now, here is O'Neal. Clarkson outside. A three-pointer off the mark. Timberwolves trailed by three. It's tipped. Inside. Pass to Okogie. And it's Royce O'Neal with the foul. Royce O'Neal. That is his first foul of the game. That's his first personal foul. Timeout is called. First of the game for the Jazz. The Jazz. And Towns not known for his rim protection. But he's improved in that area recently. Challenging and changing more shots. Russell and the call on the shot that sends him to the line. That's his point. It's going to be a Rudy Gobert. Fourth, another thing you like about Russell just good size at that lead guard position and makes him a handful to defend inside. And with Towns, Greg, you knew he had the potential for rim defense, and it became a focus for him. Yeah, and, and a part of defense is putting in the effort. Credit Towns for improving in that area. And we'll see if he can take another step defensively. Shot clock at three. Here's Conley. Misses off the right eye. Towns for three. Good on the triple. Towns has got five. And that's why Cat went first overall. This dude is 6'11 with perimeter skills, a sweet shot, and unstoppable when he's on. Back to O'Neal. Launches a three. 
Gobert. And he uses the glass on the layup. The long reach of Rudy Gobert really comes in handy when he's patrolling the offensive glass. Out to Conley. Out of bounds. Minnesota takes possession. The Jazz making a switch here. The Timberwolves trail. Russell inside. Makes it off the glass. D'Angelo Russell. So shifty with the ball in his hands. Russell changes pace with the best of them. Conley with it. From the Bengals. Master Clarkson. From the arc. Gets that one to fall after missing his first two. One for three from the field. Finding a man wide open. Mike Conley does an exceptional job of leading this team. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Now, here's Ingles. And stolen by Russell. Here's Edwards. Mike Conley grabs the miss. Here's Gobert. Towns with the defensive effort. Unusual for him, just a lack of concentration. Fails to finish the play. It's the end of the first with a tie game here, and already these offenses are clicking. Live from Vivint Smart Home Arena, you're watching 2K Sports. Some good action in the books as we get back to the game that's been pretty close here so far. What do you guys think about the Jazz here in this one? Just stretching out the floor in that first, uh, they had the defense scrambling. Reason why excellent spacing. They may not stay this hot all game, but hard to bet against them. Here's Towns. Moral, Anthony Score Moral. the basket. His fourth. He's only missed one of his five shots tonight. And we've heard some talk, Greg, about the possibility of NBA expansion. What do you think about that? Kevin, I think it would be great for the league. I mean, I play in Seattle for a season. I know they would love to have a team back in the great Northwest. And Ingles over to help. And the ball's tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. You two players. So it's Minnesota with it. Down low. Here's Edwards. Anthony Good, and the assist goes to Russell. Assisted by. And they're beginning to the just flat out Russell. fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. And we're about a minute into the second quarter of play. On the wing, Engel. Stolen. Now let's go to the sideline and catch up with our Hall of Famer, David Alder. Thank you, Kevin. Well, Donovan Mitchell is a force offensively, of course, but he knows there's room for work at the other end. He said, I feel the need to really get after it defensively and show that. Watch film on every person I'm guarding. Defense travels. Offense comes and goes. Guys, back to you. He's never satisfied, and I love that about him, D.A. Thanks. And what's your take, guys, in the hustle stats for the Timberwolves? Their aggressiveness on D has been the most glaring aspect of this game so far. They have the heat turned all the way up in this first half. Back to Clarkson. Six to shoot. Pass to Ingles. Utah the rebound. To the wing on the left. Tips it, and there's Gobert putting it right back in. And they haven't been able to turn it into a big lead, but their rebounding advantage is starting to add up. Minnesota in the lead. Outside, Russell. Rebounded by the Jazz. And stolen by Russell. 
Towns for three. Bogdanovich grabs the miss. And Utah has possession. To the paint. Here's Gobert. We'll see if they can finally hold on to a lead. It's been back and forth all night. Both teams putting forth their best efforts right now. This is the kind of game fans pay to see. First team foul. Three minutes of action so far in the second quarter. Prince outside. In the first round. And Ingles over to help. Nice ball movement by Minnesota. And it's out of bounds to the Jazz as Utah retains possession. The Jazz making a switch here. Utah leading. And the 6'8", Boyan Bogdanovich consistently among the league's top three-point marksmen. You're right, Kevin. Consistent is the right word. Listen to this. Since his fourth season in the NBA, he's never averaged below 38% from distance. That shot must be on him. Count that bucket. Just look at the way Mitchell's built. The strength in the upper body. For three, Beasley. That's no good. Misses his first shot of the night. One fifteen left to play in the first half. Ingles. And the basket by Ingles. You can do a lot of things with Ingles offensively. He can initiate, he can play off the ball, and he can shoot it from anywhere on the floor. The Timberwolves again can hit. And boy, have they been hitting the backboard in this game or what? Kind of surprising it's such a tight game. Forty-six seconds left in the second quarter. Five to shoot. Mitchell with it. Guarded now by Prince. The wide open look here for Ingles. No good on the shot. And Minnesota will come the other way to stop the run. And that will be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. That's his first personal foul. To succeed in this league, you can never be satisfied. It's a certain mentality. And Prince has that. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. We've seen him put a lot of pressure on the defense and then cash in at the line. Seventeen seconds left in the first half. Pass to Oni. The Jazz need to get off a shot here. Haskell's shot is off. You expect him to make that, especially from that distance. And some good action through the first two quarters as we reach halftime. Jazz lead by three. And we'll be back for the second half following the break. Keep it right here on 2K Sports. And as we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard yet. And the Timberwolves with possession here. They trail by three. And it's Royce O'Neal with the foul. That'll be his second foul of the game. First team foul. Timberwolves substitution. Utah's on defense. To the middle. Edwards. Anthony Edwards. Good, and the assist goes to Russell. Edwards got the first basket of the third quarter for the Timberwolves. Pass to Bogdanovich. Back to Mitchell. Shot clock at six. Here's the two drop. And good that time. Mitchell's got seven. When the shot clock is dwelling and down, it's on you, Donovan Mitchell. Make a play. And Whiteside sends it back. They get it back. They shoot again. The shot by McDaniels, no good. And they're one of four here to start the second half. Here's O'Neal. And a little hot that time, but it drops. 
O'Neal's got the lead up to five now for the Jams. Shoots from 14. And it's blocked by Whiteside. Whiteside gives enough space, waits, elevates, quality block shot by the big fella. Conley scanning the floor. Past O'Neal. Now Mitchell. Let's it go with the three. And Carl Anthony Towns pulls it down. Rare you see him muscle. miss such an open yes. look. Carl. And they call him Spider because of that long wingspan. 6'10 at present. But standing 6'1. Mitchell needs that to compete defensively at that shooting guard position. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Anthony Edwards. Anthony Edwards. That's foul number two for him. Second personal foul. First team foul. And here is Mitchell. Seven points in the game. O'Neal misses. And we know what Mitchell can do offensively. But, Greg, how do you evaluate his defensive game? Yeah, and Kevin, without Anthony question, Edwards. there's room for improvement. I'd say he's probably below average, but he has the tools that if he tightens up that part of his game, look out. And let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Well, the Utah Jazz last season was elite at both ends of the floor. Sixth man of the year winner Jordan Clarkson says three things we've been doing well are playing fast, sharing the basketball, and defense. We're playing a fun style of basketball and just keep racking up the wins. Guys? They are fun to watch and a handful. DA thanks. That's the white side. And they get it. And O'Neal is good for three. O'Neal's got eight. Defensively, you have to. Oh. 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 Assisted by and the way Towns makes scoring look Russell. effortless, it's what makes him one of the game's best Utah, players. Time not and the Jazz call time here. Carl Anthony Towns with a strong contribution so far in this one. You know, he's been a one-man record crew down low. His consistent scoring has dictated the pace of this game. We'll see if they decide to front him bring a quick double, or maybe even both to try to slow him down. Dance, your chance, dancer. Both teams will make substitutions. 146 left in the third quarter. Now, here's Clarkson. Has to go bear. to Clarkson. This one for three. Buries it from three-point range. He's got six. Yeah, these defenders had better start closing down on shooting. Prince misses. And you don't want to give up that kind of look too often. Gobert with the block. What timing from Rudy. He is superb at measuring when to go after blocks. One eleven left to play in the third. From deep, Prince nailed from three-point land. Three points. And the Timberwolves lead by two. When Prince gets it clicking from the perimeter, gets his confidence going, the entire offense benefits. Has to go bear. Lock at six. with the ball. Guarded by Reed. A shot by Clarkson. No good. Everly with the ball. Kicks it out to Prince. Gobert brings the double team. There's the triple. And another three for Minnesota. Yeah, how about the percentage they're shooting from beyond the arc here in the second half? Side Butler. And 
That one's off. He misses his first shot of the game. Pass to Beverly. Fires for three. No good that time. And we've reached the end of the third. Timberwolves ahead. And they... And with these teams locked in a very close contest, this fourth quarter promises to be a good one. Here's Clarkson. Has to go bare. The Jazz working the ball around now. Back to Ingles. Six on the shot clock. In the corner, it's Clarkson. Jacks up a three. A rebound by the Timberwolves. Gobert brings the double team. Here's Prince. And that one is off. Now the Jazz take it the other way. You know what? They're winning, though, despite the fact that he has just been really off. Back to Clarkson. Vanderbilt with the rebound. He's had a tough time getting it going, and he's put this team behind the eight ball. Pass to Butler. Back to Ingles. To the inside. Clarkson. Reed with the block. Right wing. Now Beverly. And it is flushed down with a nice jam. I love the patience Beverly has developed with the ball in his hands. Terrific guy. Utah calls timeout. Yeah, just looking to tighten up their defense in the paint. They've got to be better. It's a matter of want to. Helping out, contesting shots. You have to want to make the effort. We've got an update here, so let's catch up with David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin. Well, during the last break, I heard Quinn Snyder talking with his team. He wants them to maintain their balanced attack, but he told them they're doing a great job of finding space out on the perimeter, which has led to all those good shots. He likes the rhythm and the flow of this offense. He just told them, keep shooting it with confidence. Kevin? Thanks, David. O'Neal from long range. Minnesota with the rebound. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Michael Conley. That's, his That's foul number two for him. First team foul. For three at Kobe. That one, no good. Jazz trail by seven. Mitchell wide open. Trains the wing train. He can get that shot anytime he wants because of his ability to blow by you. Donovan gets you on your heels, and he stops and pops. And we're going to have a jump ball. It's tied up there. Minnesota with the ball. Back to Edwards. Over to the wing. Just under two and a half minutes gone here in the final quarter. The shot, no good. Conley with it. Picked up by Edwards. And the foul called on Edwards. And that'll be his third foul so far. Mitchell looking it over. Bogdanovich left side. Just five on the clock. defense from town. He's a big time shot walker and that reputation can scarce you. Go Bear looking comfortable stepping into the spotlight right now. And this is why he's a go-to option. Towns enjoys getting the chance to come up big for his team. And the three ball is good. Mitchell's got six here in this quarter. He lives for moments like this because he wants to be the guy to hit the clutch shot. A 
bit under three and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. Towns with the bucket. Anthony Towns. Crushing blow to the host right there. I mean, they were in this game for what felt like only a second before instantly giving that three-pointer. Mr. Gobert. Mitchell outside. Inside. Looking for Gobert. He gets it there. Now Bogdanovich. It's rebounded by Towns. Decent look for mid-range, but there may have been a better option for them in that set. And stolen by Bogdanovich. And here is Mitchell. Trying to get open is Bogdanovich. Mitchell outside. High arcing shot. That shot, no good. And Minnesota will come the other way. Pass to Edwards. Here's a Kobe. To the left side wing. And a kind yeah, rule that time off the rim as that one falls. This goes to. Now it's a six-point Timberwolves lead. Three-second difference between shot clock and game clock. Out to the right wing. O'Neal. Got it! And now they trail by just four. Stepping up big. Gobert showing why he's considered a cornerstone for this franchise. Big-time basket at a big-time moment. This is why we all watch the NBA is about these moments. Utah calls timeout. They trail by two. Just four seconds left in the fourth. Guys, what do you think? I don't think they should be greedy here and think about a triple. With this much time left, I'd attack the basket, get a high percentage shot in tight, and take my chances in overtime. O'Neal with the three. Oh, what a shot! Down it goes at the buzzer. Boy, does not get any better than that? One of the greatest shots you'll ever see. The three with nothing but zeros left.
My auntie was getting the education, my daddy was hustling work then. I done dodged nine times, living life for such a dirty game. I done dodged nine times, living life for such a dirty game. I'm digging your, she digging me too. We digging each other to shovel the crew. Prefer to see you and your friend and playing the smooth, breaking the rules, keeping the player the way that I move. I'm too groovy, don't knock on my groove. You used to with. You stuck in my shoes. I got set the charter for breaking the rules. Now I'm a little smarter. I'm keeping the cool. You used to could if you stuck in my shoes. Got set yeah. the charter for breaking the rules. Now I'm a little smarter. I'm keeping it cool. But I've been balling since the fourth grade. Football t-shirt with the rope chain. My granny was singing in church. My grandpa was deep in the d- Mama worked like five jobs. My uncle was getting that work in. My auntie was getting that education. My daddy was hustling work then. I done dodged nine times. Living life for such a dirty game. I done dodged nine times. Living life for such a dirty game. I f- that money a couple times. I ran through that bag and won't left a dime. The first claiming they hit for the ride was really the first ready to slide. I take it to stride. It's been truly on foolish pride. Crossing me never, ever, ever gonna slide. You might as well brain cells just like fish. They f- for a real long time. 2020, my year, my star gonna shine by the time you know the f- gonna be blind. F- gonna be blind. But I've been falling since the fourth grade. Boo t shirt with the rubber chain. My granny was singing in church. My grandpa was. Mama work like five jobs. My uncle was getting that work in. My auntie was getting an education. My daddy was hustling work then. I done dodged nine times. Living life is such a dirty game. I done dodged nine times. Living life is such a dirty game. Pull up to the party in some off white Porsches, off white forces, chicks so gorgeous, Nagley is gorgeous, gold beers gorgeous, left wrist gorgeous, right wrist gorgeous. Show your baby mama on it. He don't want no problems, he know we keep. Pull up on my like Jim Wood floors. We keep score, we keep score. LB store, GG store, BB store. She need more, Cartier store. Bring my budget over and I can buy the whole store. Take you on a trip now we on tour. I recall. She wanna be, she wanna be, she wanna be my main. Taking pictures in my chain. No, she want a real one. Her last one so lame. BV my face, all these rocks in my frames. Baby say my, baby say my name. Pull up to the party in some off white Porsches, off white Porsches. Chicks so gorgeous, Nagley is gorgeous. Both beers gorgeous, left wrist gorgeous, right wrist gorgeous. Know your baby mama on it. He don't want no problems, he know we keep. Pull up on my th- like Jim Wolf on. Yeah, we keep score. Yeah, we keep scoring. I ride on my chick for. Put you on a flight now, we on tour. She a bad th- like a toy. Yeah, she so, she love my voice. She just wanna ride brown in the Rolls Royce. Yeah, she so bad, C's on bad. Honey in my bag. Money on your head, that for some bad. She gon' drop a pin for a go yard bag. You not street boy, you just ride. Run off with your make you buy right back. Ballin' on them like I was a first round try. Hundred bands on me, all blues, all cash. Baby, buddy, but it's real, all bad. Yeah, she wanna be, she wanna be. Pull up to the party in some off white Porsche, off white Porsche. She's so gorgeous, Nagley is gorgeous. Both ears gorgeous, left wrist gorgeous, right wrist gorgeous. Show your baby mama on it. He don't want no problems, he know we keep. Pull up on my th- like Jim Wood floors. We keep scoring, we keep scoring. Pull up to the party in some off white Porsche, off white Porsche. She's so gorgeous, both ears gorgeous. I don't wanna be. But you know it different, like I know you different. So why you playing games, girl? You fall for me. Oh, 
Right here, duck down, stay low, uh, my job, one punch KO, tell her ain't no way I'm running now, hard to catch me fumbling, jet black heart beneath that sundress, all out torpid stop in London town, ain't no way I'm running now. Got us in the flesh, no nope. yelling what's new, shot it. Don't wanna party, meet me at the bottom, buckle and break my hand. Hanging too tight, like a fruit fly. Give me some sweet, you can try and hide me. I need you to stay right. right here, duck down, stay low. Uh, my job, one punch KO. Tell her, ain't no way I'm running now. Ain't no way I'm running. Baby. 